I'm an ESL instructor at Solex College. Today, we're going to talk about expressing large amounts of something. There are three common words that we use when we talk about a lot of something. That would be a lot, many, and much. I hear students confuse these words a lot. However, they're really not that difficult. So let's take a look at how simple it really is. Here I have a question. Do you have mm, cats? One of these words can fit in here. In fact, two of them can. But let's specifically look at a lot of. Do you have a lot of cats? That makes sense. We can answer in a positive way or a negative way. Yeah, I have a lot of cats. Or, no, I don't have a lot of cats. All of those work just fine. Same thing here. Does he read a lot of books? We can skip all of this because a lot works in every single one of these. Now, you say, well, if we have a lot and it works for all of these, then what do we need many or much for? Well, many can be used only with count nouns. What's a count noun? Well, you'll see here I have the word cats. Notice that cats is plural. I can count cats. I know how many cats. Same thing here because we're using the same noun. Books is also a count noun. It's plural. If we can make it plural, then it's a countable noun. So if we've got an S on it, we can probably count it. So with this, we can use the word many and the word a lot, the words a lot of. So, do you have many cats? Right? Yes, I have many cats. Or I have a lot of cats. Both are absolutely correct. Same when we have something negative. I don't have many cats, or I don't have a lot of cats. As I said, because books is also a countable noun, then we can put a lot or many. A lot of books? Good question. He reads a lot of books, or he reads many books. Same thing. He doesn't read many books or he doesn't read a lot of books. Either one is just fine. Now here's where the problem comes in. When we have a noun that is non-count, we can't count it. I mean, you say you have a lot of homework, but you can't really count it. Some other nouns that we think of might be Water, you can't really count a liquid when you pour it. Yes, you can count the cups, but you can't count the liquid that's in there. Also, really small things like sugar or salt or rice that are so teeny tiny, we don't count them. We talk about them as a group. I don't put sugars in my coffee. I put sugar in my coffee, but I put a spoon of sugar or two spoons of sugar. That's different. So when we look at words like homework, traffic, sugar, coffee, food, it's a group, it's not a plural, then we can use the word much. So do we have a lot of homework? That works. Do we have much homework? So either one will work in the question a lot of or much homework. Now, when we answer this question, we have to be careful. We have a lot of homework, positive. We have much homework really doesn't work in the English language. It's possible, I understand what you said, but that's not when we use it. Here we would have to say, yes, I have a lot of homework. However, if we don't think we have a lot of homework, 
So then we can say we don't have a lot of or much. Both fit. So here's really where you need to be careful. It sounds really funny if you use much in there instead of a lot. But as you notice, it's a lot easier than you think it is. All of these can use a lot of. This one can use a lot of or many. This one can use a lot of or many. I don't have a lot of, oops, a lot of or many. Does he read a lot of books? Same thing, and many. Here's our problem. Do we have a lot of homework? Do we have much homework? That's okay. We have a lot of homework, but we shouldn't say we have much homework. We don't have a lot of homework or we don't have much homework. You just have to be paying attention to whether or not the noun is count or non-count. Remember, many is interchangeable with count nouns. Much is usually interchangeable with non-countable grouped nouns. So that's it for a lot of, many, and much. If you like our video, make sure to like below and hope you have a good one. Thanks, this is Geneva with Solex College.